It's not easy leading a double life, is it? Hey guys, welcome again. As promised, here comes the long announced video that I was gonna make about why being an MSer means that you are a superhero with superpowers. Powers that nobody else has. And I'm gonna go ahead and present these powers to you, um, making a list of five points of why we have these special attributes that make us people with MS unique beings that despite our invisible disabilities, we have these super visible superpowers to common living beings out there. And they cannot see our disabilities, but they definitely do see our superpowers. And that's what makes us awesome. So starting with point number one, here we go. So the first reason why we have a superpower that, if you think about it, very few people out there have, is that we, when we have MS, we learn, okay, we are forced to learn to laugh at ourselves. We just pretty much have to learn to take things with a pinch of salt and to not be so damn serious about ourselves as we otherwise would have been. And just to give you an example, when you need to ask someone to help you with bringing a cup of coffee from one point to the other, this is just a very simple task in which you need someone to help you. And when you do ask for help, you ask it with a chuckle and shoulder shrug and really just laughing at yourself. Like, I know, I know this is like when you're asking, I know this is ridiculous, but hey, could you help me with this? Also, when you make mistakes, I don't know, when you trip, when you're walking, oh, you may feel a little bit angry about yourself, but you're super good at disguising it and to instead bring forth a smile. And people see that as a truly, truly admirable quality. On to point number two. Here it goes. How many times have you heard from people that they wish they were as disciplined as you are. One example of being disciplined would be that you always go to bed at a certain hour and you do not extend past that hour. People will often look at you and say, wow, I wish I were as disciplined as you are. Between you and me, we know that this is basically because we don't want to experience symptoms the day after we don't get enough sleep. But don't tell them that you are incredibly disciplined and you're also incredibly disciplined when it comes to, you know, not partying, not getting drunk, not smoking. The fact is that you will probably also have a pretty, you know, disciplined exercise routine. And that doesn't mean that you go to the gym every day for four hours or that you lift 200 kilograms. Um, it can also be just a simple exercise routine as stretching your limbs. People will see that as, you know, an enviable discipline that they wish they had. And again, little secret, we know that we do this because it's what it takes for us to function, whether that be working out four hours a day or stretching our limbs for 10 minutes every day. We stick to a routine because we know that that's what makes us function. So now to point number three. To most people on the outside, we will look like examples of strength. You know, um, how many times have you heard the sentence, you are incredibly strong. I admire your strength. And again, we're a source of inspiration to many people. And also, how many times have you heard that you are so inspiring? You are an example of inspiration to most people. And yes, indeed, um, I guess that our, you know, daily struggle and our strength to carry on despite all these struggles, people are not really aware how much we really struggle 
but they know that it's not an easy fight that we're fighting on a daily basis. So really, if you think about it, we have been endowed with an incredible strength and we have the power to inspire people with this strength and this resilience that we have. Think about that next time that you find yourself lacking the strength to carry on with your fight. I think that however far you got, you already, as it is, however far, far you got, you are already an example of strength and an inspiration to many people. And to point number four, continuing on what I was saying before, that we have an incredible level of resilience. And this is a little bit related to the strength that we have, but we are resilient and we have endured so many punches and so many falls. And just as we felt like we were getting back on top, we experienced another plunge. And yet we continue fighting our way back up to the top. And even though after a first fall, we feel like we're not getting quite as high up as where we came from, we go back to fighting our way up to the top. And this, my friends, is an incredible display of resilience and persistence. We are, if you will, if we were X-Men, our superpower would be persistence. So now onto point number five. We are incredibly versatile beings. And why do I say that? We're versatile because we are willing to adapt to whatever situation comes next. And these situations are not just like sitting on a bus, temporary situations. No, these are permanent situations, permanent changes. And we have the power because we have to have it of being able to adapt to whatever this new situation is. So now this new situation, what I mean by it is not just the fact that maybe we are changing treatment and we need to adapt to a new treatment. This is a case that I'm experiencing myself right now. I am going to have to switch treatment, which is going to probably signify a radical change of lifestyle going from not taking my daily pills to every six months sitting in a hospital receiving my infusion. That's a pretty big change and whatever side effects will come because of this change of treatment. I will adapt to them because why? Because I'm versatile as an MS warrior. I have that power of versatility, but also because we learn to adapt to whatever, you know, whatever symptom we have to deal with in the moment, whether that be a temporary symptom, if you have relapsing, remitting multiple sclerosis, or whether you're dealing with symptoms as permanent symptoms as consequence of nerves being damaged, we, hey, we have to. So we do it. So we find ways around that. Just like our brains find ways around the lesions to make things work still, that image of our brains finding ways around it to make it work is pretty much reflected on our way of being, right? So we still accommodate to make things work despite everything, despite whatever fight it is that we're confronted with. So that my friends, even though this is not necessarily comforting, this is not necessarily, you know, something, a great compensation for what it is that we have to deal with. Try to think of these attributes and see them on yourself and be aware that that is something that people without MS don't necessarily have. And when they look at us, they do not only see that person afflicted by a disability, but they also see these people with incredible attributes. So that being said, guys, keep being the superheroes that you are. Keep embracing your superpowers, being fully aware 
that you have them. And until then, take care.